Hello everyone. So now we will see the demo of debugging Android's native library. And uh, for the demo, we are using this application, HP Andro. Uh, this is created for learning about Android security testing. Okay. So in this uh, application, we will be solving the backdoor seven task uh, under the miscellaneous category. Once you uh, open this task, uh, in, the, in the description it is given that we have to find a backdoor pin, uh, verify through the login screen and get the flag. So let's open the task. Uh, the task asks for an input from the user, that is a pin. And if we try to enter a pin, like 1, 2, 3, 4 and click on check, it says incorrect pin number and as the pin is incorrect, it will not give you the flag so our uh, goal is to identify the correct pin number and uh, get the flag so we'll leave the app at this uh, state now uh, let's try to identify uh, the code that is written for this in the JDEX I already loaded the backdoor 7 activity in the JDEX and in the onCreate method of this uh, activity, we can see uh, system.load library backdoor 7, which means a native library is being loaded uh, in this activity and we are going to analyze that. So to retrieve this library from apk, we can use uh, apk tool to decompile the application. So this is the command that will decompile the apk and uh, let's go to the decompile output open this folder in this uh, we will go to the lib folder as all the libraries are placed in this folder so there are different architectures uh, available in this we will select arm 64 v8a as we are running this application on a physical device uh, whose architecture is based on arm 64 so in this folder you can see there is uh, the lib backdoor 7 library that we are going to analyze and debug okay so let's quickly open this library in ida pro uh, click on new select the library ida will show this window keep all the options as default and click on ok uh, give ida some time to load this library meanwhile let's see the different windows that are available this is a functions window where all the functions in the library will be listed once the library is loaded so in this window ida view a it is it will show you a disassembled view of the function and we can also get a decompile view of a particular function so let's select open this function java hpandro uh, the package name and uh, if we double click it it will show us the decompile code for this function okay uh, we can click on f5 and it will give us a decompiled version of this function Let's try to analyze uh, what this function is doing. Okay, we can see on uh, line number 11, a v4 variable is created and it is ex uh, and some value is being stored in it. Okay, and there are two more variable vspy and v6. So if you see uh, the code further, uh, one thing we can ensure that we cannot just identify the pin uh, by just uh, reading the code as uh, the pin that is accepted by the application is only four digits but uh, you can see there are more than four digits that are being processed in these lines of code uh, so on line number 16 there is this function str cat underscore check this is basically a string concatenation function being used and on line 28 if you can see uh, it is trying to compare two variables it is v4 and v6 and uh, it is probably trying to compare the input 
and the uh, variable in which the pin is actually stored okay so what we'll do we will set a breakpoint on line number 11 that is v4 and we'll set our next breakpoint on line number 28 and try to see uh, what is the value of pin that will be stored in one of this variable okay uh, once we have done this let's uh, try to connect the ida pro to our device so first open our window command window in that we have already uh, got an adb shell of our device and we have placed a android underscore server 64 this is a binary that is available in the uh, folder of the uh, ida pro installation and it is in the debug srv folder so you can find this there according to your architecture uh, we have uh, placed this file in our uh, device at this location slash data slash local slash tmp okay and just execute this binary so one thing to remember that uh, this requires the root access to run to run this binary so uh, your device must be rooted we can see it is listening on this particular port 23946 so in order to communicate on this port we will forward our machine port uh, to the uh, device port okay adb forward port was 23946 right 23946 the first one is the machine and the device 23946 on which the server is currently listening okay uh, now we have forwarded the ports and go to the debugger menu in ida we have to select the debugger there are different debuggers available in ida of which we will select select a remote arm linux slash android debugger okay once you have selected that click on ok go to debugger menu again and select this process options under this process option we have to mention the host name which will be the local host 127.0.0.1 and the port on which this we want to connect which is 923946 click on ok now uh, we have set up we have told ida uh, on which port we want to connect to the device ok again go to the debugger and click on this attach to process option it will list all the process that are available in our device that are currently running to quickly search for our process click on ctrl f and search for hp android okay so this is the process that we want uh, to attach our ida debugger double click on this as soon as we double click on this ida will uh, try to load all the libraries uh, that are being loaded if if this windows uh, comes up click on save and click on ok ok so we can see uh, it is still uh, trying to download all the symbols and uh, as soon as the library is loaded we can see the apps execution is being suspended right now so what we'll do uh, we will resume the execution so that we can enter the pin and uh, further try to debug okay we'll click on this uh, green button to resume the execution of app so what i will do i will resize the ida so that we can simultaneously see the application now we can see the application uh, execution is now resumed okay and let's try to enter this pin one two three four and as soon as we click on check our breakpoint should 
hit here okay let's click on check see our uh, the ida has uh, hit our breakpoint and uh, we can see the if we hover our cursor to the v4 variable we can see currently there is no value assigned it is uh, slash zero okay so if we uh, click on f add that is step through uh, which will go, uh, take the instruction point uh, take the pointer to the next instruction okay so now the uh, instruction pointer is on line number 12 let's try to see the value of v4 it is 1234 which means uh, v4 has the user input and if we go on to the next breakpoint we can see there are two variables being compared v4 and v6 v4 currently has 1 2 3 4 which means v6 will have the correct uh, pin okay uh, so what we'll do we will skip all those lines we will again uh, resume the execution of application uh, it will uh, the IDA, ida debugger will stop at this next breakpoint that we have set and we will uh, try to check the value of v6 okay let's resume the execution now uh, the uh, our instruction pointer has reached line number 28 let's try to see the value of v6 the value of v6 is 3961 which means that might be our pin okay now let's uh, resume the execution of application and see what uh, message we get okay we have to uh, resume the execution a few times uh, we have got the incorrect pin number now as we know that the value of v6 was 3961 we will remove these breakpoints and we will enter the pin that we have identified by debugging and again check if we if application gives us the flag okay three nine six one we'll click on check now as we have removed the breakpoints uh, it will not uh, stop during, uh, during the execution okay if uh, let's click on check yeah so 3961 was a correct pin and we have got our flag now 